you know, we'll all benefit from it. Because hopefully there will be something new for, for all of us, really. Um, I think there's an awful lot of reinventing the wheel, and there's nothing like kind of discovering things for yourself. But just have a little bit of insight into things. So, um, obviously, the understanding is that you're all fairly au fait with how Colograph works in terms of um, using particular types of textures to create tonal and textural effects. Um, just as a sort of a little backup, somebody asked earlier on about uh, having some notes for today. There aren't any specific notes for a, a particular activity, but it's, it's not a specific workshop in that. So you get um, a digital I can't be bothered to come in here to a photo screen print. I just fed it through and it works fine. So are you then having talking about having a digital image on that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Do I mean, again, can I ask about fading? Do, do you find those? I interesting? have an Epsom inkjet, which ha you can buy archival inks. Epsom uh -huh. one with you. Do you write? Yeah. Do you write? Is that by Golden? Yeah, oh, yeah. Golden brand. Um, and they do actually have the medium now to actually um, go on to different surfaces and things like sort of uh, non porous surfaces, things that you wouldn't perhaps normally inject onto. Um, and it's like a digital ground, so you can paint it on onto fabrics and various surfaces, and then it actually receives that digital print. Actually, there's a better oh, one. Um, <laughs> four years ago from America, I got similar thing but by a company called Ink Aid. It's on mm -hmm. Superb website. Yeah. And that's they, actually cheaper than the Yes. Mm -hmm. And they'll and send you, you a little yeah. sample yeah. set which lasts forever. And what was that for second one? Ink Aid. I N K A I D. Type that in, you'll get to the website. They have a portfolio because they run contests. And some of the work produced by the artists using this sort of new substrate on anything is amazing. Mm. You can't I mean, I've used I've experimented with Film you can mm. get it done as Van Art. Oh, yes. www.vanart.co.uk, I think. Um, they sell it. Oh, yeah, in Britain now, I think. Yeah. I mean, things like know? this, obviously, yeah, yeah, um, if you pass the information Van on to me, Van Art. I'm quite happy yes. to sort of collate that Van as well. Art. The website address. Yeah. Van Art, yes. yes. That's in Van Gogh. So I mean, um, I, I kind of I had to look at your notes as you go as make a note of these. Finding out more about kind of putting two plates together. Obviously, some of you are working on that at the beginning of the week, and you know, might want to work on different different things. Others might want to have an insight into that, and maybe have a think about this other method as well of actually making a base plate. Then I can go through that with people who might want to do that. Um, and then the other thing that I'm really interested um, in collating and building on really for us as a group and also for the print centre is just really to think about how we can actually use different materials in a perhaps a more unusual way. Um, so one thing that I you know, tend to encourage people to do more and more past the initial introductory stage of chronograph is to manipulate the materials a little bit more. So, you know, I might come up your surface as level as possible. So any kind of step up is very difficult. I'm sure you found that. Um, so if I'm talking about laying a plate on top of another plate, I'm talking about that plate on top of very thin. Um, and again, you know, it's surprising how robust thin card is, or laminated drawing point card or something like that, for instance. Um, you can see the packets that are turned over to the car side because they have that lamination. <coughs> The whole sort of matte satin gloss effect. Mm -hmm. So it's actually now working as tone rather than a sealant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, then I've done another version of this with blues and golds, which I think I've got one in there. Which is then a different sort of again. So the inking's going to change it um, mm -hmm. all of the time, really, with that. Which is so in terms of sort of constructing whole surfaces, I mean that in itself then can just look really interesting. So again from going from your sort of plain to two colours to the sort of the a la bouquet there as well. Um, cut out in paper, you know like a piece of paper, I somehow feel it ends up feeling very um, two-dimensional. Two mm -hmm. 
So what I prefer to do is almost, that's actually lots of torn bits of handmade paper. Mm -hmm. And I feel as if I'm creating an yeah. armature. Yeah. And strangely enough, when you're making it, you almost have a feel that that's the wing and there's a bone. And it's almost as if you were, you know, if you work with mod rock and wire that you're creating this. And then this is sort of just frayed scrim. Again, you know, having something like feathers would be far too obvious. Yeah. So you just yeah. try and find something that equates to it. Um, and then you can pick out kind of more sort of solid shapes for that as well. Uh, and then the paper yeah. goes down. Yeah. So these are some of the examples of the um, I could see each time they're going to come up completely because mm -hmm. they have to work out completely differently. Um, colours are lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, I found well, because with oil paints I can get more of a range of colours because you can just. <laughs> Cheaper. What's um, the paper that you're using? This is um, Hannah Muller etching paper. Um, and also, when you put the little bits on, um, are you okay with rolling them? They don't slide about. Um, I, t I would roll them before I put them on, and then just put them on a pair of tweezers or something like that. They no, don't, but I mean, when, it, when it goes to the no, 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 they don't slide about because they, they stick into the ink that's underneath, really. Oh, that's true. Oh, oh, right. Really yeah. okay, and where, but, I mean, sometimes when I've got, um, I'm after that white edge, and so it's pure luck if that actually happens, because uh -huh. if I'd used a sort of thinner piece for the top mm. top one, yeah. it would, you wouldn't have got that so much. But these have got, again, they've got texture paste on. So, so again, it's that sort of slight halo of yeah. that. Mm. Well, yeah, that's there. quite nice if it really works, but it doesn't work. Mm. Um, then like a cotton bud and just blend the colour in. So <laughs> yeah.